Okay, so let's talk fashion. Golden Globes fashion, Latin X fashion. Fashion? Fashion. Yes. Yes. Okay, we got to see a lot of glamour, mm -hmm. collars, mm -hmm. risky trends, yeah. all the things. And you know who shined? Who shined? Very mm. bright. Who? In blue, because it was like a huge trend, blue. Yeah, I did see a lot of blue. Gina on Rodriguez. Yes. yes. I love Gina. Yes. Well, we all know Gina from Jane actress. the Virgin. Oh, right yeah, now. it's my favorite. That's a great series. But there's another movie that's coming out very soon is Miss Bala, Bala mm -hmm. which I'm very excited yes, for. Yes. Mm -hmm. But as you said, Clau, there was a lot of blues. Baby we have, blue. Oh, is this blue or lavender? It's baby no, it's blue. blue. Are you yeah? colorblind? Okay, yeah. okay. Are you colorblind? Maybe. Uh, we have oh Alison Brie in the beautiful blue. We also have Dakota Fanning, Lady Gaga, and of course, Gina Rodriguez. Lady Gaga went all for it, though, because she actually dyed her hair, or I don't I don't know if it was a wig or dyed her hair, but also like that same color. Like yeah, she did. Blue, you know, lavender. Nice color. little fun fact. If you guys, you know, A Star is Born is a remake of an older version that Julie Garland played. And Julie Garland actually, when she went to the red carpet for it, she was dressed in a blue dress. And so like that's an why homage. Lady Gaga did like an homage I to A Star that. is Born with Julie Garland. I love, yes. love, love that. That's nice. I love Gaga. Very nice. I look like I like good. Gaga because, you know, every time she comes to the carpet, she just doesn't say, hey, I'm not just a singer. I'm not just an actress, but I'm a fashionista. Yeah, yeah exactly. she's an artist, she like totally head is. to toe artist. So let's discuss who else was fashionista at the red carpet of the Golden Globes, mm -hmm. and let's start off with Sophia Carson. Sophia Carson. Oh, that girl. Yeah. Yeah. She was she wearing a Jamba Tista Bali. She, she is my friend. Oh, she is my friend. She's friend. my friend. She's our friend. Okay, fine. She's well, our friend. I still have to meet her. But yeah, Sophia's wearing a Jamba Tista Bali. Yes, yes like Claudia said, for sure. She's perfect. Fantastic. Perfect. And I think that's it. The word is perfection. Yeah. Or impeccable. Always. Impeccable. Impec Yes. Impeccable, I think, would be another great word for Sophia because she is polished from the top and of her polished. hair yes. to the bottom. Like yes. she is, and her personality mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Another big favorite of the night was uh, Penelope Cruz, another Latinx oh, she representation, was I and she was wearing Ralph and Russo, which I thought was spectacular. One of my favorite parts of this dress was that bow in the back, because usually we get a lot of that wow in the front. But look at that, that nice toss is a perfect photo op moment. It's just like, oh. She knows how to pose <laughs> it. Too. She's like, I got this bow, and you're all gonna look. <laughs> <laughs> all gonna look. I love it. I love it. But it wasn't only the ladies that were calling the attention. No, the gentlemen were too. Like yes, Edgar were. Ramirez, he was definitely killing it in. Um, Edgar Ramirez looking fantastic. Looking, also in Ver he, no, that was looking fantastic for sure. And and you know, he's he's just so incredibly talented. And I think that talent just exudes. You can just see that. You but know. I don't need that much. With with. With the show that he had with Gianni Versace, the assassination of Gianni Versace, had Ricky Martin there, which is another co-host that was also dressed impeccable. Yeah. It was nice. I'm sure those two went like, you know what? We killed it with the miniseries. We're gonna kill it on this car. We're gonna kill it everywhere. We're gonna kill it. Yes, yes. Which, they do. <laughs> which was a big for trend sure. in Gianni Versace. <laughs> Anyways, another uh, attention grabber, which was one of my favorites of the night. One of my favorites too. It was mm -hmm. Julia Roberts. Oof, you guys, incredible. She looked spectacular and she was wearing a Stella McCartney. And I think my favorite thing about this was the pants. You know, it, it gives this androgynous but feminist kind of look of saying, I am here to come back to these carpets to say, everybody, this is how you do it. How does she look you know so what? good? She's amazing, but she's not. Like, her outfit wasn't my favorite. It wasn't your favorite, no? Why? She's amazing. She always looks amazing, but I don't know. What was yeah. it? But there is something about it. Was it the pants? No, not the, no. I mean, not the fact that they're pants. It's just, like, the look. Like, mm. maybe they were, like, fancier pants. I don't know. Man. Oh, more fun. I think it was too I like, loved class. It. I love that. I love it. It was too so class. So then like who was who pants. was your who was your favorite? Lupita. Who was Lupita? Oh, Lupita Nyong'o. Oh, she, she's Lupita just Nyong incredible. Amazing. That's right. Lupita was wearing a custom made Calvin Klein, you guys. Yeah. It was spectacular and I do she have to amazing. admit that she was also a top for right? me. Along with Julia though. Along with Julia. But I thought it was another color blue that was definitely a hit on that carpet. Yeah. But I I think that was most spectacular of the dress was the beads and details to it. And if you Movement. saw on the side, there was a cut on the side that was just, I don't know, it was the structure of the dress plus the details uh, of the Lupita beading. Lupita can wear the anything color, and everything. The and model that was great. wearing yes, it. Yes, Lupita's just, just incredible. Always. Now, uh, you know, another one of my favorites actually was Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. Oh, I like her. Oh, she looked fantastic. She She's looked actually amazing. wearing the Michael Kors collection dress. And uh, I just thought, 
again, this woman just shows up and it's like, boom, game over. She's That's it, like, everyone yeah. pack it up, go home. <laughs> you know, this dress definitely gave me a vibe that she had a big little lie. Man. No, you guys didn't get it? No? no. You guys don't watch the series? Yeah, it's <laughs> coming back <laughs> this year, guys. No, oh my oh, we were like, God. <laughs> Which little eye? Yes, no. all right, guys. So you know what? But we had she another tried. trend. We had another trend on the red carpet, which is deep cleavage. I bet yes. you like that, deep Chris. cleavage, yeah. There you go. We have a few examples <laughs> here. We have uh, Carrie Russell. We have Kristen Bell and Taraji P. Henson, who are all rocking those deep cleavages. I'm, I'm a fan of the deep V. Um, I do. I think it's very elegant when it's done right. And these ladies definitely did it right. They were poised. They were classy. And, yeah. and they shined. And we also have here a uh, Claire. Foy, um, we have Sawarsi Ronan. And Halle Berry yes. as well, uh -huh. also giving more of that plunge. Um, these women are just spectacular, honestly, and I think the Golden Globes was about that. It was very also woman empowerment that's going to continue from 2018 to 2019. Yeah. So. And, yeah. Well, <laughs> and on and on. Ricky yes. Ricky Martin. No, we yes. did talk Ricky about Martin. it. Let's right. Ricky remember Martin. Ludi talks and he was amazing. I bet he felt amazing, he especially being like a recent new dad. Yes, of course. You know, and, and you know what's friend. great is that he's Ricky friend. and Edgar, who we just mentioned, they showed up to the uh, to the Golden Globes because obviously their series was up, but they were also there to support Darren Chris, who actually right. ended up winning. And then here we see, of course, the image of their daughter, of daughter Lucia mm. Martin Yosef, who Ricky announced is a new addition to his family and posted this amazing picture as well uh, with the baby carriage getting ready for the Golden Globes. Uh, you know, he's basically saying how he's multitasking <laughs> with the <laughs> stroller and getting his hair cut. Claudia, are you getting hints for the babies that are <laughs> coming? <laughs> yeah, that astrology uh, interview that we had for sure, right? But, uh, guys, so we're moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> moving, forward <laughs> moving forward, right? Hey, All right, guys. guys. Man, man, but right. So that was so much fun. Red carpet. So red carpet we have always such a good time here, always. right? I'm a fan of red carpets. Passion's I'm a fan fun. of anything award shows, and especially when there's so much Latin representation on those Latin carpets. Latin power. Latin um, power for sure. This is Latinx now. And if you liked what you saw, hey, subscribe. You know the button, so Where? click yeah, it. The one Where? right here. It's right Where? here. It's right here. Or maybe. Or maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs>